I have one of the hardest temptations in the world every time I come to Lake Charles. When I'm getting on that Interstate 10, I'll give them people a plug. Because about the only place that I don't fly to is Lake Charles. I usually drive here. You understand? And I got to pass a place that I can smell it from the interstate. It's called the best stop. It's out there on the Scott Cankton exit, right out of Lafayette. They got, they got gratons like you ain't never eaten in your life. They got boudin. They got tasso. They got, you walk in there. My God, it will kill you, but you die with a smile on your face. <laughs> Out that place. So we stopped, and it's Kathy's fault. She said, let's get us some boudin. I said, oh, Kathy, man, I tell you what, now that talks to me. She said, I don't eat cholesterol anymore. I love it, though. I like hog crackling. I love hog head cheese. And, and I love boudin, hot boudin. I want the Greek. I want, I want it current. <laughs> you understand? Know I want it when you got to use bounty extra strength paper towels. <laughs> Just to hold it. So I go in there, man. I look at that stuff and everybody looks so content in there. How you doing? <laughs> I go to a health food store. <laughs> got all these people with bulimia in their hand erected. <laughs> all drinking powdered drinks. Boy, I go to the best stop and them bellies are hanging over there. <laughs> They're so good, they can flip gratons like a quarter. There you go, try one. <laughs> Say, that'll kill you. Yeah, but so what? <laughs> they always give you, you know, my grandpa ate this and he's 95 years old. He died when he's 98, he might have lived to 140. <laughs> sure enough, we go in there, man. I buy that boot in. I buy me a bag of gratons. <laughs> man, they got some good stuff. Everything in it looks, smells so good. Now, you know, you gotta understand, it's not a really fancy place. It don't make no difference. Say, what you need, huh? There ain't nobody go get nothing for you. Go down there, down the, go down that aisle there. Look down there. They holler at you from cash. I say, look down, look down there. <laughs> down there. <laughs> and you go, okay. You know, I try to be nice, you know, excuse me. What, what, what do you want? What do you need? So y'all got some pay. I don't want this green. Oh yeah, well, go, go to the second aisle. So I, they don't even see me. You're not there yet. Go ahead. Great, go, go. Look further, look down, there, there. No, I don't see it, no. Look past the brawny stuff. There, you see it? No. You want me to come over there? <laughs> They're hollering from the camera. No, I got it, thank you. How many of y'all have experienced that? You know what I'm talking about? I'm saying this, you see? Why? <laughs> and I'm, I'm, the scripture's still in here, the day the power came, you see? The, how many times God got to tell you where to go? Yeah, but if you want him to walk down the aisle with it, well, it's right there. I laid my hands in that machine. I said, devil, turn loose of that wheelie. And the hot dog fell out, bam. Her bun on the back of her head, the radio antenna, man. She's listening to something she don't know. That's all I knew was repent. Boy, these people saying, I'm going to mail this letter some other time, Jack. I'm out of here. The devil said, this is it, Jack. You're dying with Vienna sausage in your mouth. She said, Dennis, a dead man coming up the road, and Jesse saw him. He said, well, close the door. I said, Grandma, what y'all doing? She said, we're watching television. I said, I know that, but why y'all dressed up? She said, they can see us. The Mary Hart series, six DVD set. Order yours today.